Hi, this is Aaron Marshall with Rosho Christie here at UNC Wilmington. Abortion is a really hard topic. I get it. But we want to be able to have good conversations about really hard issues. I can make my, my pro-life case quickly by using science and philosophy. And so by science, we can show you, and again, I encourage you to do a lot of uh, further reading in this, but the science of embryology is settled that life begins at conception. At the moment of conception, the embryo, the zygote, you know, the, the child, whatever you want to call it, is a, a new entity, uh, a separate from the mother, with its own DNA, the same, the, and actually all the DNA it will ever have, all the genetic material it will ever have. The only difference between you then as a zygote and you now is time and sustenance. So scientifically, we know life begins at conception, and we know that that being is a separate entity from the mother. And then philosophically, we can show you that there are no real differences between the unborn and the born, such that it would allow you to be able to kill the unborn that wouldn't also allow you to kill the born. And we can, use, we can make that argument by using the acronym SLED. Um, again, the point of this is to show you that there are the only differences between the, un, the unborn and the born come down to uh, the acronym SLED, and none of those are good reasons that we should be able to kill the born. Those aren't, thus, those aren't good reasons we can kill the unborn. So the first word, size. The unborn is smaller than the born. But just because someone is smaller than another person doesn't mean that you can kill someone who's smaller. Is, is, is Shaq more of a person than uh, I am? You know, is someone taller than me? Are they, are they more a member of the human race than someone who's smaller? That doesn't make any sense. So just because somebody is bigger doesn't mean that you can kill the person that's smaller, right? L is level of development. And all this says, level of development, all this says is that the unborn is less developed than, uh, than, a, human, than, than a, a born person. But so what? A newborn is less developed than a two-year-old. A two-year-old is less developed than a six-year-old. A six-year-old is less developed than a 26-year-old. Are those reasons that I can then kill the two-year-old or the newborn? Of course not. So just because they're less developed doesn't mean, doesn't give you reason to be able to kill the unborn. So you have size, level, level of uh, development. You also have environment, okay? Yes, the unborn is in the mother's womb, but how does the location of a person give any bearing whatsoever on whether we can kill that person or not? And how does the, the, the traveling of a, of a fetus down the, the birth canal, the eight inches of a birth canal, somehow give that person, the, give that child the right to life that they didn't have because they were eight inches further away? And so if I go from one, one room to another, if I go from one country to another, if I move from different locations, that doesn't take away my humanity, my personhood, and all the rights go with it. So environment is not a good reason why I should be able to kill somebody. And then lastly, degree of dependency. Do we agree that the unborn is dependent on the mother? Yes. But just because people are dependent on others is not a good reason that we should be able to kill them. If you take an infant and you place them in the floor and you leave them there, they will die because they are completely and utterly dependent on other people for to bring them food and all these other things. But the fact that they are dependent on mother, father, whoever, does not mean that they are not a person with all the rights that go with it that we should be able to kill them. So I think you can make a quick argument by uh, in the pro-life position by number one, zeroing the discussion on the only issue that matters, what, what is the unborn? If the unborn is more like the toddler, then we can't kill them. If it's not, then, there's a, then you, can, you, you, know, you can if you want, or there's a separate discussion that goes along with that. And then we, and then we say, look, what is, the, what is the case for life? Scientifically, we can show that the unborn is a separate entity from the moment of conception. And then philosophically, we can show that the only difference between the born and the unborn we can represent that with the acronym SLED, size, level of development, environment, and degree of dependency, and none of those reasons are good reasons why we should be able to kill anybody. The pro-life position, I think, is a very easy one to make, and in further videos we can help you um, break down other arguments that you hear against this position, because this really does matter. These issues really do matter. And so I encourage you, don't just take my position for it, do the research on this, ask good questions, but also seek good answers. This is Aaron Marshall with Rosho Christie here at UNC Wilmington.